This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. What is going on with these streamers? Neon's getting jumped left and right with these guys have security with them all the time while they're filming, right? Is that Jack Doherty again? Like they, they keep jumping each other. Like uh, they were Jack Doherty got into it with some guy at some event, and then Neon ran up on uh, Jack Doherty, and they got into it at the event. Is this like becoming WWE on, on Kick? Like they're like, you know what? Let's just make it like WWE and just fight each other. And it's all scripted because it's it's some weirdo stuff, man. These kids are weird. Uh, YG, okay, so YG brings Bobby Althoff to Compton, probably for the Kendrick video over the weekend. Uh, okay, I mean, you know, it's like, how how weird can we make this? This was probably Saweetie's idea, like, yeah, get up with Bobby Althoff and you know have an awkward moment. I I, I don't find the Bobby Althoff stuff funny. It was funny in the beginning a little bit. But then it it turns it what it is is her agency is using rap and hip hop to like get her you know, it, as soon as she gets some fame, trust me, she's moving on to other things. Like that's it's one of those situations where they're just using rappers to get to level up. Someone posted, uh, LA got to do something about the hat politics. It's no reason I can't wear my Yankee hat in a food truck. Oh, to the food truck. Uh, yeah, the gang politics has always been a little... They, they used to warn you about, like, colors and stuff you're wearing and stuff. But, you know, you can get into some trouble. Uh, Drake posted... Uh, I mean, it's real. Like, you, you can get into bad trouble in L.A. wearing the wrong stuff. Certain things, I mean, represent certain gangs. And this is just, I don't know. Uh, then we got Drake and uh, Chubbs. He says, more life capo, plenty of love and the family to go around. And just wait till that other stuff comes back around. Drake, Stop. Stop. Leave it alone, bro. Let let the Kendrick thing blow over. It's gonna take another two months. It's gonna take so don't even drop nothing. I would just disappear for two months. Drake deserves to disappear. He's been on two tours back to back. Got into a beef, lost. Disappear for a little bit, man. Sexy Red. So she, I guess she got this vodka sponsorship and then like a few days later said it was the nastiest thing ever and don't drink it. You can get into a, a lot of trouble doing that. I don't know, man. Sexy Red is crazy. Then Keefe D secures $750,000 ahead of a court hearing. He might get bail this time. We'll see. And then Meg the Stallion, of course, is celebrating not like us. She doesn't like Drake because Drake sided with Tori. So, you know, that's that. <laughs> I mean, she's rubbing it in his face. Most people would, right? But I'm going to be honest with you. I still believe there's more to that story. <laughs> Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.